the before in silver. And now the after, the rekeyed black version. Looks way better in my opinion. How's it going my beautiful friends? My name is Gary and this is my channel Weakest of Weeks. If you're a first time viewer, I appreciate you clicking on the video and definitely consider subscribing. I have a ton of how-to stuff out there and even have some Buell and EBR stuff throughout the years. Today, the plan is to swap the lock cylinders in these two gas caps, both of which are from a Buell XB or a Buell 1125. What I'm doing here is taking my factory Buell 1125R silver gas cap and switching it for this Buell 1125CR black gas cap. Now, it's my understanding that some of the later XB models, depending on which model you had, came with a black gas cap. Same thing with the 09 and 10 1125CRs, but most of the XBs came with the silver gas cap along with the 1125R versions. Now my 1125 was an R, I converted it to the CR, hence why I want to switch to this black gas cap. So this black gas cap, I don't have the full lock set for it. I do actually have the matching key to it, but the tail lock and the ignition are entirely different. Whereas this one, I have the full set currently in my 1125R. So I want to take this cylinder from this gas cap and put it in this one. Now, I think this is gonna be a relatively simple mod. I don't know all the tools that we'll need. I prepared myself with a 3 8 ratcheting drive, extension adapter to quarter inch, and a slew of Torx bits. I'm not entirely sure if we'll need that, but at a minimum, we will definitely need a small flat blade screwdriver. So we'll quit rambling here and we'll tear into it. First, we'll start with this black gas cap. And just to show you, this is the original one. Does not have the key ring on it. And I don't believe the key has to be in it. I think you can actually do this without one with a key. So if you find one on eBay relatively cheaply without a key, this might be the perfect mod for you. But if you look in here, there is a pin. And what we need to do is push down on this to compress the spring and then pull the pin out. Right here, you cannot pull the pin out because there is this plastic stopping it, so it'll only be able to be pushed out one way. So we're gonna put a little bit of downward pressure and then try to get the screwdriver in here to push this pin out. And the pin popped out like that, lift up. Have that plastic piece, you have a pretty large spring. Kind of get this better organized so you can see it. Have that plastic piece, one other plastic piece, and this rubber. So this is what we're left with. Now, let's see here. Look at that. So it looks like the lock cylinder actually just pushes out like that. And there it is. So we'll set that lock cylinder to the side. And I guess if you wanted to change out this center section, that's what you would need these three Phillips screws for. So I assumed it would have been a torque screw because a lot of the bike is in fact torque screws, but it's kind of interesting that that's just Phillips, but we don't even need to mess with that. Literally all you need is a screwdriver. We'll do the same to the silver cap. And really, now that I think about it, quite honestly, you don't even need to really undo any of that. Once you get that spring out, you can just remove the cylinder. That. Now the thing is, 
this gas cap is literally brand new. It has probably 20 miles on it. So because this black gas cap is going to be on the bike from here on out, I want to put all the brand new internals in this. Otherwise, you can just push out that lock cylinder. So this cap will go here. This one will go over here. Here's what we're left with once everything is disassembled. I have the new lock cylinders that I want to go with the corresponding caps lined up. And here it is all exploded out. The only thing that otherwise can come apart is if you remove these three Phillips screws, you can remove the center plate, which we don't need to do, or this rubber piece will come out. So sometimes this will be attached to the actual lock cylinder, but uh, in this case, these are still in here and you just pretty much just kind of line it up and push it in there. So this isn't fully lined up, but there's a couple indentations that these uh, pieces that stick out will go into. So we'll just line that up real quick. Like such. And now we're good to reassemble. And so I have the uh, keyhole more offset to the left. And you'll know when it's in there because it actually sits down perfectly fine. If it did not, you wouldn't be able to push this down and have it flush. So that is in place. I'm going to leave that closed so the cylinder doesn't fall down. And a point of mention too is there's actually an O-ring on the bottom of this lock cylinder. So that's something else that can get stuck in here. But with your screwdriver, you can look down in there and pop it out. So if it's not on the bottom of the lock cylinder, take a look in here, pop it out, put it on the bottom of the lock cylinder, and then put it in place. So now that that portion is in, it's just obviously reassembly. So we have this rubber piece. We have this dark green piece, and this is all keyed. So this only goes on one way. Then you have this different colored green piece. And this you move around. Um, obviously, it's got a stopping point. I mean, there's really no way to screw that piece up. You have the spring, and then this piece, and then finally the pins. This is where you can screw up things. If you don't get this correctly, then the cap will not function properly. It'll actually be backwards. So we want this light green piece not all the way up to the stopping point. Stopping point being like this. So if you assemble it like this and you put the pin in, it's not going to function properly. What you want to do is have it like that. And then we have, if you can see, there is the hole that we need to line up to slide the pin in. So we just need to pick a side, drop this down, and slide the pin in. I'm going to set it down on here so I can put more compression on it. Take your screwdriver, push the pin in. All right. So this is the silver cap with the old original black lock cylinder in place. Now on to the black one. There you go. Now to put it on the bike. The before in silver. And now the after. The rekeyed black version. Looks way better in my opinion. And I actually have black forks that'll be coming on this bike soon. Let me know what you think. Is it worth the swap? Thumbs up if you like the video and comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. That being said, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch friends next time.